you asked, what is a solar panel degrade factor? Sometimes people ring me up and say, look, I've had my solar system for a year, for two years. It really worked well in the first year. It worked well in the second year. But now, I don't know why, I just don't seem to get the same kind of electricity out of the system anymore. And there are things which are called solar panel derate factors, which could affect the uh, output of a solar system. And so let's run through those potential reasons today and see if any of those apply to you and your system. So you might have an idea what could be the reason that your system has uh, reduced production. Now, the first one, if you have soiling on the panel. So solar panels are designed to uh, have dust, especially if they're in an angle, have the dust wash off, especially in heavy rain, etc. And so they're kind of self-cleaning. But obviously, if you have either a relatively flat panel or if you have things like uh, birds somewhere near your panel nesting and pooing on it on a regular basis, then you obviously have what's called a soiling effect on your solar panel. And you really, from that perspective, would possibly have to book in a system cleaning in order to remove that particular derating factor. Other than the soiling, there is also what is called the thermal coefficient. And what that simply means is the hotter it gets in hot weather, uh, the less electricity solar panels will actually produce. So let's say if you'd actually had the roof repainted under the panel and it used to be, let's say, a light red color and now it's a dark red color, that means your roof has gone hotter, then that could actually be a reason why the solar panels produce less. I've also had people once installing hot water pipes uh, under the panel itself uh, and suddenly the panels actually you know, derated and didn't produce as much. So just be, uh, make sure that your solar panels only get as hot as they have to be because the hotter a solar panel goes over 25 degrees, the less electricity they will produce. So there's a derating effect for additional heat. Inverter losses could be another reason, which means you've actually got an issue with the inverter, not necessarily with the panels. And But usually the modern inverters will tell you if maybe one of the strings is down or if there is any other issues with the inverter. So normally you will get the warning emails or your installer will get them. So it's usually the less common reason. You've also got obviously shading. That's a big one. Often when people say, oh, the system performance is down, when you look at uh, where their palm tree was two years ago or where their neighbor's tree was two years ago, suddenly there's new branches come up. They now started to shade the system from two o'clock onwards. It's a string inverter system. And suddenly you have clearly pinpointed the reason why solar is producing less. So you do sometimes, you know, it's advisable to sit there, have a look at what is the sun actually doing on my panels? What are shading doing on my panels? And in some cases, you have to trim back the nearby vegetation to make sure that there is uh, shading is avoided. The other thing that most people don't realize is that your panels do deteriorate over time. It's a bit like if you would put rubber on your roof, uh, over time it gets uh, more harder, it starts to crack, it gets brittle. So after the first year, if you have a 400 watt panel, don't expect it in the second year to still produce 400 watt. You could easily now have lost 10 watts out of the system and it'll only produce as much as a 390 watt panel. And then every year thereafter, for the next 25 years, you or depending how long you expect your panel to last, 30 years, uh, 15 years, you will lose output. But that percentage is relatively low. It could be a half a percent, it could be 0.7%. So there is what's called a performance warranty out, which does say that, let's say after uh, 25 years, this particular panel will still produce 85% of its original uh, wattage. So that is one of the reasons why slowly your solar system might produce a little bit less. It's the light induced degradation. So that's another key reason. I did not know that. Now, not so relevant to Australia, but obviously one other matter that happens a lot in Europe is in winter, if you get snow. So if you get snow or you've got any other uh, litter, leaves, uh, branches, etc., that's starting to lie on your panels, that can have 
a big impact as well. I recommend every six months, you do have a quick look at your solar system. Is it free of soiling? There is no crack in the glass. There hasn't been a branch that somehow has managed to find its way onto the panel. All of those things could be the reason that your system is producing a little bit less. But after all, if you had a good company that installed it, make sure they're worth their after sale service, call them in, get it checked out, get the solution and produce again a lot of solar. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.